uh, to explain the background uh, at the beginning. So maybe uh, some students here or some researchers here uh, know uh, the theory of Golmov-Witten invariance. So here uh, I just uh, compared the Golmov-Witten theory with uh, uh, the theory of quantum singularity. So uh, I, at first I, I remind you some, uh, some structures in Golmov-Witten theory. So let X is a uh, is a simple uh, to be a symplectic manifold with uh, almost a complex structure. Complex structure, and uh, and uh, uh, omega is a symplectic form. Then we study the the modulum of uh, the sort of sort of curves. So so the so the curves is uh, is a map. From, um, from from a Riemann surface with genus G to a symplectic manifold, and uh, also satisfies uh, uh, the the differential equation of first order. So this is just uh, this operates, and uh, J here is uh, uh, the the little J here is a uh, uh, complex structure. Of, of this Riemann surface. So uh, we want to study the modular space. <coughs> of, of this J curve. U. Yeah. So the uh, the the central part of the this theory is is a modular space. This one. In this space. So this is uh, the set of all the uh, uh, J curves with K marked points and the genus G to the symplectic manifold X. Uh, the aim of the, this theory is to, to get a cohomological field theory. So I, I will ex, uh, ex, explain the, the structure. So this theory consists of the, the following in, ingredients. So first there is a vector space on uh, on a, on a, on a ring or on a field K with a pairing, uh, with a metric, with a metric G, and uh, or, or pairing. So this space. Uh, Usually, uh, is required to be graded. So it's a graded vector space, and uh, with a uh, with um, multilinear map. So the multilinear map is from the uh, n copy of this space to the cohomology ring of uh, modular space of. Uh, so, so this is a multilinear curve. Uh, should satisfy some some conditions. So here is uh, so H here is called the state space. State space. So G is a metric. This is over a ring or a field. Genius, another is magic. <laughs> right. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe you use this. <laughs> use this one. Okay. Eight. Use eight. Yeah. And uh, and this this map should satisfy the the condition. So actually, for example, we have the tree growing. Tree growing is uh, uh, is a uh, is operation from two modular space. For this modular space, just uh, uh, growing, growing one point, one marked point. 
So this is one operation. So we, we require th this should satisfy. Equals to some uh, so some 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 sign, and uh, here is g one plus one and one gamma. gamma i and one tensor 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 the uh, diagonal tensor gamma i. N one plus one to gamma a n. So this is this is I should I should write in this way. So this is So, so this is one, uh, one condition. So the, the other one is uh, uh, we, we can discuss this, the similar thing for the loop, for the loop operation. The loop operation is you can, uh, you can, uh, you, you can uh, glue the two points together such that the, the genus increase increase. So you can you can get the the same you can get the same requirements. But here I, I don't want to uh, write the detail because later we will see see uh, see, uh, see another form. I mean see the uh, detail form. Right. Okay. The present minus of mark point? Right. Yeah. Mark point. Uh, so, this is a uh, this is a definition of the cohomological field theory. So, for the Gromov-Witten theory, H here is just the uh, for Gromov-Witten H is just the cohomological uh, cohomological group of of X. And uh, eight here is just a primary pairing. Primary pairing. Uh, actually, uh, so it's, I mean, uh, we, are, we are familiar is uh, actually is uh, called the small quantum ring structure. That is. We can uh, we we can modify we can modify the ring structure of the of the of the product. So if this one is uh, is a usual product of the ring H star n, then we can get a quantum ring quantum ring structure. So so. Each uh, star x, right? And uh, the quantum ring structure is we take the form, take the, take two form. Sorry. And uh, and then we can define a new ring structure. So this ring structure is defined as the, uh, is defined by the uh, uh, three point function in genus zero. So gamma n here is the base. It is the basis. It is the basis of H star n. And uh, gamma up n is a dual space. Dual space. So here is genus zero and the three point function. So this defines uh, the basic quantum invariant 
for the in the Gromov written theory. So this is called the small quantum ring structure. So here we have the we have the quantum quantum structure. And uh, of course here uh, this one is is given by 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 this one zero uh, g equals to zero n equals to three. Okay. Uh, and then we have the uh, we can we can get the definition of uh, of uh, correlators and uh, higher genus uh, invariants and uh, uh, assemble them together to to get a generating function. So that is a famous conjecture in Gromov written theory. It's called the Virasola Virasola conjecture. So this conjecture says uh, the the generating function. You, you get should satisfy a series of uh, partial differential equations, so uh, called hierarchies. So this is a this is a, a very complicated uh, problem. And uh, then this is e example. Maybe you you are familiar with. And then we 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 uh, return to our topic today. So today I will talk about the quantum singularity theory. So what is a quantum singularity theory and uh, its relation with Gromov written? I I will tell you. So so this one is uh, uh, is actually related to the landau ginzburg model. It's called called landau ginzburg A model. So uh, from, the, from the view of physics, gromov witten theory and uh, also this theory uh, actually are two parallel theory in the n equals to two topological field theory. So n equals to two means this theory, uh, this theory should preserve some symmetry. Called n equals to two superconformer algebra structure. So there are two models. So one model is called Calabian. Calabian's nonlinear sigma model. And the other one is the Landau Ginzburg model. So for this model, the equation we, we consider is uh, the equation of sort of holomorphic curves. So u is uh, from a uh, Riemann surface to a symplectic manifold. For this model, we, we also consider another equation of first order. It's called the Witten equation. Witten equation. So this equation is uh, Describe, uh, describe the some some sections. Some sections over, over, uh, over the surface, over Riemann surface sigma. So L i is some some line boundaries on, on sigma. Yeah. So we, we have the a system of uh, differential equation. So the important term is uh, is this term, is this term. This term is uh, totally controlled by by W. W is called uh, superpotential. Uh, because of the symmetry requirement, W should be uh, should be quasi homogeneous. So here, W should be quasi homogeneous polynomial. So this. W of uh, so it's of u one to to u n, yeah. So we have two models. So the two models has uh, a very uh, very intimate connection. So actually, for Calabian, we have a model. Also, we have b model. But for L G, we have a model. And also LGB model. So this 
So A model here is uh, described by gromov witten gromov witten invariance theory. Or, uh, and furthermore, if, uh, if we can consider Calabian threefold, we have a Donaldson -Tom Thomas theory. theory. So this uh, is conjectured to be equivalent for, for threefold. So th this is this side. So for Calabian B model side, uh, actually this, this model has not been well constructed. Only for, only for genus zero and the one case is, is well defined. Uh, this actually related to the variation, variation of Hodge structure. And the uh, per period map mapping and the Bicard Fuchs equation. equation. So this is B model. So there is a mirror symmetry between the, the two models. Says maybe we have uh, for a Calabian model and we have uh, another mirror ma manifold. So the A model here, we have a generating function given by this theory should, should, uh, should equal to the generating function defined by some, uh, in some way for this manifold. So this is a mirror, mirror symmetry. And uh, so similarly, we have, the, we have all the story for this model. So up to now, we, we, uh, we understand this model. So this was recently constructed by me, Javis. Written, Javis run, Yongbin run, and uh, so this program was initiated by Witten in, in the beginning of 19th. So we have constructed uh, a model for hyper hypersurface singularity. So uh, of course, B model here is is not clear yet. But now I, I'm doing some research in, in this, in constructing the beam model using, u, using the Schrodinger equation. <coughs> but uh, uh, unfortunately, I have not enough time to talk about this, this construction. So we also have the mirror phenomenon. So uh, of course, uh, uh, an important question is to, uh, to find the geometrical construction of the mirror path, how to construct uh, uh, a, a model, LG model, A model to the B model. So this has recently been studied by Patrick Clark. So he has some idea to treat how to get the mirror path. And uh, the, the interesting thing is uh, uh, his uh, uh, his results can cover all the examples uh, we, 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 we have known before. Yeah. So, but uh, the two models also have relation. This relation uh, is uh, conjectured to be a correspondence for the CYLG correspondence. However, uh, Although Witten has some ha, ha, has proposed some uh, projection uh, program how to get from this one to this one, but uh, up to now uh, there is no rigorous mathematic proof of the, this correspondence. So this is uh, another big problem. Uh, it turns out if we want, uh, want want to understand the mirror symmetry and all the models, we should add the, the, the total pictures here. Yeah. And, and now you can understand the, the, the place, uh, what is the, the place the singularity quantum theory lie. Yeah. So besides this, uh, the, the whole geometrical picture are all related to some integral of system. Integral of system. Yeah. So this is another uh, big branch in, in mathematics. Uh, so now you, you can understand the, the, 
the background. OK. So let's uh, go back to, uh, to today's topic. <coughs> So the topic is based on uh, a series of, of work here. So uh, just now I, I mentioned the, the Witten equation. Uh, we, we want to use the Witten equation to construct the, uh, the virtual cycle in the modular space. So here you see the, the super potential can determine all, everything. But by symmet supersymmetry uh, requirement, W should be quasi-homogeneous. So we begin from the quasi-homogeneous polynomial here. So what is a quasi-homogeneous polynomial? So, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just uh, this satisfies uh, this identity. So n1, n capital N, and uh, d here are positive integers. For this polynomial, we have some uh, very simple invariants. For example, we can define we can define the weight of uh, the variable xi. So qi equals to ni over d. Uh, so what, what we are interested in is a non-degenerate polynomial. So w is non-degenerate if it satisfies the following two conditions. The first one is the, the weights qi are unical determined. The second is w has a, a singularity only at zero. So this example is, uh, is uh, the famous ADE singularities, like A, D, E6, E7, and E8. So, so ADE are very important symbols in Lie, Lie group or Lie algebra. And uh, we also have the other classical invariants associated to a singularity. For example, we can define we can define the Milner ring. So the, the Milner ring is uh, the, the quotient ring, quotient by the, the Jacobi of W. <coughs> so th this, uh, this idea is generated by, by capital N uh, polynomials. And then we can define the central charge. Central charge here has a, uh, uh, has a similar has a similar role to dimension of a manifold. So when we talk about the central charge, that means we, in some sense, talk about dimension of a manifold. And uh, we also have, have the Milner number. So this number means the, uh, gives the uh, de degeneracy, the, uh, describes the degeneracy of, the, of, of this polynomial. So we can perturbable the polynomial a little bit such that it becomes a holomorphic MOS function. And then the, this MOS function has mu non-degenerate critical points. So this is the meaning of a mu number. And, and then uh, since we can uh, perturbable a little bit of the, the polynomial, we can talk about the vanishing cycle and uh, left is simple. For example, we, we, we uh, put up a little bit, and then we get, get this fiber, get this fiber, based on, uh, on a point Z0. And we, we get this, get this uh, homology class. So this homology class consists of uh, all the vanishing cycles. Yeah. And uh, we, we also have the, uh, we have the relative homology class. So the relative homo homology class here consists of left left symbols. The picture is uh, uh, looked like this. So for, for, uh, for, for a little t, we get a homomorphic MOS function, right? And uh, so here we have mu 
critical values here. Yeah. And, uh, and then we can study the, the lines from minus infinity to, to these critical points parallel to, to x axis. So the, the pre-image of this line is called the Lefty simple. So it uh, uh, they can consist consist of uh, the relative uh, homology group. So uh, so you you can imagine this looks like in this way. So this is simple to to the to the yeah. I think it's not pre-image. It's the Lagrangian. Lagrangian, yeah. So here you uh, you say the I mean uh, you can say the, the the image image here is, uh, is image a line. yeah is a line, yeah. but the pre image may be complicated yeah much yeah com yeah, yeah complicated, but you can imagine it this way. Like so stable man stable manifold. More stable stable manifold right stable manifold. Yeah. So for the relative homology, we can define the intersection pairing. So like the uh, two manifolds in intersect at some, some, some points, and then count the algebraic sign, and you, you get a sum of them. So this is a pairing. Uh, this pairing uh, naturally induces the dual pairing, induces the, the dual pairing. Uh, the, the, question, the problem here is that the dual pairing can be represented by, by differential forms. So later we, we will study the uh, differential forms. So if sector to, to those objects, uh, the, classical in, the classical invariance, to study the classical invariance, we also need to study Gaussmanian systems, period map, and the classical, classical uh, objects. Uh, now we begin to describe the quantum, the quantum structure of the of this theory. That we, that is that to say we, we we want to describe the cohomological field theory. So the important thing is the automorphism group. Because W is quasi homogeneous, so we have the uh, diagonal matrix pre preserve this uh, this polynomial, the value of this polynomial. So. So this symmetry group consists of a diagonal matrix. So there is a special element called the exponential grading element, J. J, uh, the, entrance, the entrance in the diagonal consists uh, of, the, of, this, of these numbers with norm equals to one, and the Q1 to Qn. Qi are, Qi are, uh, are weights with respect to variable Xi. And uh, G is uh, called the adm admissible symmetry group if, if this group is a subgroup of G. But, and uh, G is a subgroup of the maximum symmetry group. And then we use, uh, we use uh, the group to orbital dice the, the whole space. I mean, the whole space is uh, uh, is is uh, Relative cohomology group, and uh, so we we take element in capital G gamma. We can see the uh, the set of fixed points of of gamma. So this is a uh, is a subspace of uh, C n. And then we define the the so called gamma gamma twisted sector. Uh, we can we can restrict. W to this to, to this subspace to get uh, to get uh, to another polynomial W gamma. We can prove W gamma is also non-degenerate, and then we can see the uh, the structure restricted to the subspace. We have the relative cohomology group. So so this is defined as a gamma twisted sect because it's related to an element gamma. Uh, also. Uh, and then we want to define the gradient of, of, uh, of this twisted sector. So usually in, in all before the theory, we have to treat the, some number called the shifting number. Shifting number is defined in, in this way. So if gamma 
is uh, repre represented by this diagonal matrix, then we take the sum of this index minus, minus the weight. And then uh, the degree of an element in H gamma is defined as uh, the degree of alpha as the differential forms plus two times the shifting number. So this gives you a grading. And uh, also you, you see we have the inequalities. If alpha is in the gamma sector and the beta in the gamma inverse sector, then the, the sum of the two degrees equals to two times the complex dimension. So this is a central charge. And then the total state space uh, is the direct sum of all the uh, gamma twisted sectors. So you, you can imagine this is very similar to, the, to what happened in the compact manifolds. We have, we have cohomology and the differential forms and, uh, and the, the total cohomology group. So, so, uh, so H here, HWG here is a, is a total state space. And also we can define the pairing. The pairing, uh, so, so at first we can define the pairing in each gamma sector as an intersection, intersection number. And then, and then uh, take the direct sum. And, the, and then you get the, uh, par, uh, you get the pairing in the total state space. And uh, then we have uh, finished, uh, finished the describing the state space grading and uh, also the, the pairing or the metric in our theory. The next, uh, uh, the next uh, task is to describe the virtual, to describe the multilinear map. But the definition of a multilinear map and uh, the proof of its properties depends. So the pairing is just the, the usual intersection of the cycles. Yes. The relative the L the the yes. Yeah, right. Yes. Mm. So the construction of a multilinear map depends on the construction of a fundamental cycle. And, and then we. Uh, uh, began to talk about uh, the W curves and uh, its modular space. So, uh, so here there's some definitions. So we, so uh, OB curve, it, it's a uh, it's algebraic curve C with uh, some with k marked points, and uh, near each marked point we may have uh, OB fold structure. So OB fold structure is actually given by the uniformizing system. So by this branched covering, branched covering. So you can imagine, uh, you can, when you modulate this action, you get a uh, cute <laughs> cone, you can get, get. So, uh, so if L is the orbit for the line bundle, and uh, ZS is the local coordinates of the uni uniformizing system near a marketer, Point the pi, so the action of GPI is 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 defined in this way. Uh, so uh, so this number multiplies z, the coordinates in the underlying surface, and this this number multiplies the coordinates in the fiber, the fiber. So this is the action. So we can naturally define the group action as another points. Now a W curve. Uh, consists of the, uh, the the following data. So the C is a uh, algebraic curve. P1 to PK are K marked points with possible orbifold structure. L1 to LN are uh, orbifold line bundles. Uh, here we require the line bundles and the isomorphism phi1 to phi s satisfy the, uh, the uh, con consists of a W structure. So a, a W structure means the all before the line bundle should satisfy the isomorphism, the following isomorphism. So uh, uh, here should be a, a monomial in, in, in W. So it should, this should be WI. 
WI. WI is a monomial in the W. So, so L1 and LN uh, forms. So you can take the tensor product. So they forms uh, uh, they, they form a line bundle. This line bundle should uh, morphic to the k log uh, line bundle. K log line bundle is a tensor product of the canonical bundle with some uh, divisor line bundles. This one, so this on the left is uh, is the virtual bundle on, on the curve, right? Uh, yes. The, the, the yeah. All before the line. Yes. Should the line bundle come from monomial? Yes. Right. Yes, you take each monomial. Each monomial is a product of uh, variables. Right. Yeah, and then you plug in the line so boundaries. It's a yeah. tensor product, just individual line boundaries. Right. No, 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 no. You, you don't. Uh, you, you don't take the direct sum. <laughs> There's no direct sum. You. So actually, this isomorphism is. Uh, if we. Is oh, isomorphism. Isom right. I see. I see. Yeah. So there's a uh, identification of each of these tensor product with the k. Uh, no, if w is uh, is written in this way, the sum of mm -hmm. monomials, yeah. then we require for each monomial wi we have this isomorphism. Yeah, that's what I mean. Each of the yeah. monomials have a lambda bundle which identifies with the k. Right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the action of local group GP at the market or node point P gives an element in the uh, maximum symmetry group. Uh, since we have k marked points, so we, we, we get k elements in GW. And uh, we, we, we write it as, uh, this, uh, uh, as a vector gamma. So gamma is a tuple of k. Uh, group elements. So we say a W curve C is of type gamma. If at each marked point PI, the group action is given by gamma I. So this fixes the uh, action of, uh, uh, fixes uh, the group action. Now the aut automorphism group is the extension of the automorphism group of the surface uh, along the along the fiber direction, so uh, intuitively you can imagine it as a product of two parts. One is along the fiber automorphism, another is along the surface. Yeah. Uh, so so here I, I just skip it. Right. So, uh, so if the orbifold action of a line bundle, Li, at the market or not market point, uh, market point P is trivial, that means that the action is trivial, then Li is called a uh, uh, Raman line bundle at P. Otherwise, it's called the Navier-Schwarz line bundle at P. So if all the line bundles are at the market uh, point P are Navier-Schwarz line bundles, <coughs> then P is called a Navier-Schwarz point. Otherwise, it's called a Romand market point. So uh, the dis di distinguishment here is very important when we treat the ana analytical problem. Because uh, the Romand rom 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 market point will bring you much difficult. And then the modular space. So M bar GK is a modular space of genus G uh, with K marked points. So WGK gamma is a modular space of W curves and uh, having, the, having the type gamma, and the type gamma. So uh, we have the natural maps from this modular space to the U to the usual model space of curves. Just what is gamma again? Gamma, gamma is, a, is a tuple of, uh, of uh, k group elements. Oh. Because you, you, can, you, can, you, can, you can fix 
you can fix the group action at each market point. So it's uh, for the market points. For the market yeah, point. Right, right. You have k market points. And right, right, yeah, exactly. yeah, you have k group action. So this fixes the type of the curves. Yeah. So we have, the, we have some natural maps from modular space to modular space. So one is the stabilization map, just uh, forgetting all the structures. And then you get the Riemann surface, forgetting the orbit for the structure, line boundaries, and, uh, and all. And we also have the forgetting map. Forgetting map here is, uh, is uh, special because we can only forget one market point with the action of G inverse. Uh, otherwise, the, uh, this will uh, break the, the degree restriction. So we can only forget this one and then get, uh, uh, get a curve, W curve of this type. Uh, so we can also uh, con consider the tautological ring of, of this of this space. As a, we can we can look at it as a topological space and consider the ring structure. Yeah. And we can also define the Poisson I class and the Kappa I classes uh, as as we have done in in, in model space of curves. Yeah. So those those things yeah. have they all have important important correspondence to the Borisian theory. Elaborate version of they also have similar structures. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the following theorem says uh, actually this space, so WGK is a, a disjoint union of all the uh, all the components. So this is a smooth a smooth stack. So we have uh, good properties, and the dimension. Uh, this one is the uh, branched covering of this one. So the dimension is the same, same to this one. Uh, yeah. So it's uh, uh, 3G minus 3 plus K. Uh, so the construction of the virtual cycle depends on the study of the written equation. So, so far we have only the analytic way to construct the virtual cycle. Uh, of course, many people want to replace the analytical technicals uh, using some algebraic uh, technical to construct the virtual cycle. I know uh, uh, Professor Li Jun and uh, Wen Chou. Yeah, yeah they, they want to do, <laughs> but so far it's not successful. Yeah, because yeah. the equation is itself not holomorphic equation. So not holomorphic. So. so it's, I don't know how they could do that. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> this is only uh, this. This is why, for 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 a long time, they they can only treat the R spin k curve case. Right. Which, which yeah. Case yeah. Kind of Doesn't matter. Yeah. So here, U i is a section of the orbit for the line bounders L i. Uh, so there are two facts about this uh, equation. So for W equals to x to uh, R plus one case, the so-called AR case, we have the R spin curve theory. In this case, written equation has only trivial solution. Uh, the Raman sector is, is decoupled. That means uh, everything related to, to the Raman uh, case can be taken as zero. Can take as zero. We can get the complete theory. Uh, so for, for general case, written equation may have non-trivial solutions. So this is why uh, we, we have to consider more complicated modular space involving the solution of this, this equation. The problem is... So the R speed curve is the one corresponding to AR. AR, AR singularity. Simple singularity. Yes, yes. Mm. The equation is, uh, is simple. It's just uh, this one. Only involves one uh, one section. Yeah. So why is that trivial? Yeah. Why is the solution trivial? Uh, that is a simple technical. You you can you can you can multiply in this one. Uh, and then and then take integration of the limit series. Yeah, you get uh, <laughs> very simple. It's called the Witten lemma. For, right, for sure, that has okay. a zero solution, okay. yeah. But only for, of course, for Navish ones, you, you require all the points on Navish ones. Mm -hmm. So you, you get the results, mm -hmm. yeah. 
And if we run marked points appear, so they just uh, set them to be zero. I see. Yeah. So this is called decoupled. Mm -hmm. uh, but for this case, you, you can't do this. Mm -hmm. Because in our computation, uh, uh, you, you will get a uh, contradiction. If you set the remand part to be zero, this will break the associativity axioms. Yeah, this is the reason you can't ignore them. So the, the method to, uh, to treat this equation is, use, is using the perturbation method. Because uh, W here is a, is a degenerate function, degenerate function. So if you uh, look at look this at the Hamiltonian system, this means the Hamiltonian here is, is not a MOS function. It's not a MOS function. So this will bring much trouble to study the asymptotic behavior of the solutions near the, near the marked points. So we have to perturb the Witten equation. And then the construction of the virtual cycle uh, depends on the depends on the perturbation, depends on uh, on this. This uh, actually represents some represents some perturbation. So the the technical is very complicated. Uh, so it takes us uh, a long, long. <laughs> oh wait, I have this question. Last time, is yeah. that what's the relation? You you were trying to get a virtual cycle of the previous modular space. Yes. But how that you do with the Witten's equation, actually? Right. So actually, the, the modular space we consider is this one. Uh -huh. the, this is the modular space uh, up. Right, right. Yeah, right. upstairs. So why the solution yeah. of Witten equation have to do with that modular space? Right. So actually, we, we should consider the W sections. Uh -huh. So C here is a W curve, but we should add the solution. We, we should press them together to form a new modular uh, problem. Yeah, to study the the, the case in, in this in this space, and then push down the virtual cycle to the modular space of W curves. So this is the idea. Mm -hmm. So uh, so we, of course, we can perturbate perturbate W, but the virtual cycle. Uh, also depends on the perturbation, so we study, uh, we, we need to uh, study carefully. So how this virtual cycle depends on the perturbation. So it's very lucky we found the the perturbation, uh, the perturbation uh, in uh, depends on the the, the the virtual cycle depends on the perturbation in a very good way. Uh, actually, we have the wall closing formula. So this shows. The transformation formula of the virtual cycle enables the same transformation formula of the, of the left simples. Yeah. In the classical series, when we uh, exchange, uh, we, we, when we uh, lift, lift one critical point, critical value above another critical, critical above, uh, a critical value, then we have the wall crossing. We have the transformation formula. The transformation formula is given by the Bika Lefschitz formula. So here is we have the very good uh, result. This shows the uh, the perturbable virtual cycle also depends on the perturbation in this way, the same way. And now, uh, <coughs> so this makes us uh, be able to define the the final virtual cycle, which is independent of the perturbation. The method is we, we tensor with the dual, with the dual left simple. So for virtual cycle, we, we can go in this way. But for the dual left simple, let's go another way. So this uh, uh, cancels the, 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 the effect of perturbation. So we get a virtual cycle is independent of the perturbation. Yeah. So this is a, this is a key point. And Do you expect this, or are you just running into this? Or? We, we don't expect it. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, we just study the, uh, the behavior of the boundary components. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see. Yeah, we should study the soliton, soliton equations, how to the exchange soliton, and then find this is just a uh, big Yeah, it's very Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big formula, yeah. And then after uh, construct the virtual cycle, we we uh, we can prove a series 
uh, axioms uh, proposed, a series of uh, axioms proposed uh, by conservation and money. Yeah. And uh, uh, the first one is a dimension, dimension axiom. So dimension here is, uh, uh, gives a virtual dimension of this cycle. And also the de degenerating connected graph and, uh, and so on. For example, this one. So this one gives you, gives you a relation of the, of the virtual cycle the, of the principal component with the boundary component. Yeah. So the, the virtual cycle of the boundary com, uh, component is just the pullback. It's just a restriction of this uh, big virtual cycle on the boundary. Yeah. So, so W gamma is the boundary component, boundary of, component. of this WTK little gamma? Yes. I see. Yes. Yeah. Now, this is something like happened in the model space, of course. Yeah. And also the, the important uh, thing, comp composition law. Composition law means you can you can you can you you can uh, group two components together to get a, to get, get a nodal curve to get an element in the boundary component. So uh, so we have the uh, so this composition law uh, uh, is similar to the associativity axiom in gomov witten theory. Yeah. And then we can define the multilinear, multilinear map. Yeah. So because this virtual cycle is a tensor product of, uh, of an element in, in the cohomology group of modular space with left is simple. And uh, then, then we take the cap, cap with uh, left is simple. Because here is, uh, there, there is one part consists of uh, the dual of left, left is simple. So when cap, they disappear. Only, only uh, leave uh, the part in the modular space of curves. And then use the stabilization map, push down to the modular space of curves. And uh, multiply these this factors. Uh, this, this factor is actually is, uh, is given because of the orbifold structure. Yeah. So then we get then we get this 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 linear, linear map. So we can prove uh, the state space HW with this intersection pairing and this multilinear map and this unit. So the, the unit is, is just the uh, function one, function one. So they ca consist of a cohomological field theory. So so this means you you have to show. You have to show the C1 to, to C4, the, the axioms. Like this, this one, gluing, I just uh, written down. And uh, this is uh, uh, screwing for the, for the loop case, for the loop case. And uh, yeah. So this is a relation of the three point function with the pairing, with the pairing. So this is why the unit appear here. And so this is a forgetting map. Uh, in some sense, it's, it's a dilaton, dilaton equation here. So, so all, the, all the properties here can be proved from the, the, from the axioms we, we have proved for the virtual cycle. Yeah. So once you, you once you get uh, uh, get uh, get a COHFT, so you can you can naturally get uh, the other structures. For example, we can take the genus zero part out, and the genus zero part out defines a forbidden manifold. Yeah. Uh, we can also define the correlators. So the correlators is uh, uh, is uh, is looked in this way is the integration on the modular space of curves. So here is Poisson I, Poisson I here is uh, is a phi class in the modular space of M bar G K. 
Uh, and later, uh, maybe I have time, I will explain this a little more. And uh, alpha 1 to alpha k, uh, uh, actually elements in the state space. So they are differential forms. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a correlators. So actually, uh, this remark says the virtual cycle uh, depends on the choice of the admissible, admissible group, G. Yeah. And then we, we have the generating function. We can de define the potential function here. Uh, so here is the uh, uh, endpoint genus G uh, correlator function. And uh, we uh, we, we match them with some formal, formal variables. So we have infinite many formal variables. Uh, so this function is a function, is a function of infinitely many variables, P. And then uh, we can consider sum. We, we can sum to the, to the genus. And we get a, a tau function. Tau function here. We, we write in this way because it depends on the singularity and also depends on the choice of admissible group. So there is another uh, invariance, the simplest, uh, uh, simplest uh, quantum invariance uh, called the quantum, quantum ring structure. So the quantum ring structure is defined in this way. So it's, it's just uh, uh, defined by the genus, genus zero genus zero three-point function. Yeah. So in this way, we can define the quantum ring. So that's just the state space, right? Uh, in state space. So it's the yeah. ring structure on the state space. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so after, construct, uh, after constructing the, virtual, uh, the quantum invariance, the uh, important task is to compute, c c compute them out. So uh, uh, for, for ADE cases, uh, we, have, we have proved Witten's self-dual mirror conjecture. So this conjecture says, uh, actually uh, our result is as follows. So the first one is except for dn with n odd. The ring, so this is a quantum ring we, uh, we I, I told you. So this ring of ADE case with, with group J is isomorphic to the Milner ring of the same singularity. So Milner ring is, uh, is defined in, in a classical way. So the, the second says. Uh, so is this a mirror symmetry? This is a kind of mirror symmetry. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> mirror symmetry of algebra. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so for the n case, so you can uh, consider the n with a maximal diagonal symmetry, G D n. So, for 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 this tuple, we have the quantum ring. This quantum ring is is isomorphic to this ring, so to to a ring, two n minus three. Yeah, d n to a. a a to n minus three. Uh, so the second says it's a ring of uh, of this singularity. This singularity is uh, is the dual is the dual singularity of d n, dual singularity of d n. Uh, this ring is also with a maximum diagonal symmetry group is isomorphic to the minor ring of d n. Yeah. So this is the simplest mirror symmetry. So we have more strong conjectures relating the generating function dwg and the, the former Gewinter's generating function. So uh, the genus G gromov witten potential function of one point is defined in, is defined in this way. And uh, here, tau d1 to tau dk is also a correlator function. Is a k-point correlation function. It's an integration 
over the, the modular space of curves of, of, of those, those Poisson classes. Um, yeah. Wait, so this is the, this is the same, the previous construction, right? This is previous. You constructed, this, uh, you constructed this potential function as a power series of, uh, uh, is this the same one or a different one? No, uh, now I, I, I tend to the discussion of a former, former uh, Gromov Witten theory. Oh, this is Gromov Witten theory? Yeah, this is Gromov Witten theory. Okay, okay. Yeah. So we, uh, here we, we discuss the former okay. Gromov Witten theory. Yeah. So this is uh, uh, the, uh, the generating function for one point. Yeah. And the, so we, we get the Witten conservative generating function. We get, we get this one. So uh, Gwenta's former theory is, uh, uh, can be described in this way. So let A be a finite index set having a distinguished element one. So this is a state space. Uh, so s suppose the Q vector space, vector A generated by A, is attached with a non-degenerate symmetrical bilinear form eta. The former genus zero, GW potential, is a power theory, F0, in variables T, D, L. So uh, L, L represents the, the elements in, in, the, in the set A. D is an infinite, uh, is, a, is a positive integers. So this is a former, so this is a former uh, uh, Gromov written invariance. So we, we can we can take a part from for, from from this this potential, called the primary potential. So the primary potential satisfies the WDVV equation, and the former for balance manifold. Uh, so F zero is called semi simple of rank mu, if the 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 number of a is is mu, and the algebra structure on the space is semi simple, for generic. For, for generic uh, uh, T zero L. So Gwinter found there is a transitive action of the so-called twisted loop group on the set of all semi-simple genus zero GW potential <coughs> of rank mu. Hence, given a, a semi-simple potential F zero of rank mu, there is a group element R taking K copies of uh, one point, function, one point uh, potential to to F0, F0. So using a method to quantize the quadratic functions, Gwinter can quantize the group element R to get an element R, R hat H bar in Gwinter's group. So R hat H bar acts on the K copies of the tau functions. So uh, after acting, uh, we can get a power theory uh, get a power theory called D given term. So this uh, this uh, power series can be written in the form, can be written in this form. So if D given term is required to satisfy a uh, homogeneity condition, then this potential is uniquely defined and uh, satisfies the uh, uh, string equation, direct equation, topological recursion relation, and the villa solo constraints. So if given a genus zero GW potential of a projective manifold, which is semi-simple, uh, Gwinter conjectured that the total GW potential is the same to, to D Gwinter, uh, uh, D Gwinter pot uh, potential function. So this potential function is totally determined by the genus zero part, yeah, constructed in a formal way. So uh, in our case, we have, the, we have already constructed the, the, the tau function in a geometrical way called DWG. But on the other hand, we can, we can get a, a, we can get a former, we can get a former so tau so function. So far it was about uh, Gromorrhizen theory. Yes. And uh, what uh, given have done, whatever, in those. Yeah. Now you're going to analog in your situation. 
Yeah, uh, uh, Gwent has a formal way to construct uh, the, the, to the, the total tau functions mm -hmm. from the genus zero part. Right, right. Yeah, this is a formal Gromov-Witten potential. And uh, in our way, we have the geometric way to construct the tau function. Right, right. Yeah, but of course, we can construct it from the genus zero part. Mm -hmm. The question is uh, if the two tau functions are uh, equal or not. Right, right. Yeah, so this is a, this is a, is a problem. So this gives a conjecture of this one. Yeah. So this is construct, constructed in geometry way. This is the formal way. Does it, uh, is it uh, equal? Yeah. OK. And uh, uh, then we come to the, finally come to the generalized Witten conjecture. So to generalize the Witten conservative theory, Witten has the following conjecture. Uh, Witten's ADE integrable hierarchy conjecture. The total potential functions of the A, D, and E singularities with the symmetry group J uh, are generated by the exponential grading operator J are tau functions of the corresponding A, D, and E integrable hierarchies. So the the corresponding A, D, and E integral hierarchies here is the Dreamfeld Sokolov hierarchies. Yeah, it's, it's a very complicated uh, family of differential, partial differential equations yeah, with infinitely many variables. So why do you call them A, D, E? Uh, yes. Have they also constructed from the sing this singularity function? They, uh, he, he, can, he, he conjectured the A, D, E corresponds to some hierarchies. And uh, he guess there should be Dreamfeld and the Sokolov. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for A N case, this was uh, con uh, solved by Faber, Shadowing, and Swankinen. Yeah. Uh, so we we proved the D case. So the, the so I just uh, showed the the theory. So the total potential function of the singularity is dn with e1 n greater or equal than 4, and e6, e7, and e8 with a group j. So, so this, those potential functions are tau functions of the Katsuwakimoto or Dreamfeld Sokolov hierarchies. But uh, surprisingly, the Witten conjecture for dn with n order case is false. So note that in this case, uh, e, e, in the case of n even, the subgroup J has index two in the maximum group of uh, diagonal symmetries. But in the case that n is order, J is equal to G dn. So we have for all n greater or equal than four, the total potential function of the dn singularities with the maximum diagonal symmetry group is a tau function of the A two N minus three, Katsuwakimoto, Dreamfeld, Sokolov hierarchies. So this is beyond the uh, Witten's conjecture. Uh, uh, sorry, what's what yeah. conjecture? Witten conjecture uh, says uh, says uh, oh, right. yeah, yeah. They they have uh, he he didn't say more about yeah, yeah, but. Uh, but we distinguish the n equals even and n order case. Yeah. Uh, we, on the other hand, we can consider the dual singularities of dn. So the second result says for, n, for all n greater or equal than 4, the total potential function of the dual singularities with the maximum diagonal symmetry group is the tau function of the dn, Katz, Wakimoto, Dreamfeld, Sokolov hierarchy. Yeah, so this is our, our result. Yeah. Maybe I can uh, stop here. Okay. <laughs> yeah.